Ultimate Man here. I want to show you our latest kits that we have. The latest kits are, are ever since about 2006. Uh, Dodge Chrysler Jeep trying to make it so we can't put an external type voltage regulator on the vehicle. Now we've now in association with our ERCKFRM kit, we've had to add ones that also included the modified driver. And those would be our ERCKFRM 071 right here, or our ERCKFRM 081 here, or ERCKFRM 091 here. All three of those would also include uh, one of the original type plugs with it as well. So it just depends on which alternator you have. Uh, this one right here is set up for this alternator right here. This uh, this one has a rear plug coming straight out the, the back right here. This is Denso type alternator. Um, this third one, the ERCKF from 091, that's for a Bosch type unit. And you can tell that's a Bosch unit because it has a brush holder molded right into the uh, assembly here. These other two, both the ERCK FRM 071 and the ERCK FRM 081 are both were Denso type units and the brush holder actually attaches to the back of the driver right here. You actually when you change the driver on this type of unit, you have to actually transfer the brush hold assembly from the original driver to the new modified driver and then put those back on. So with each kit, you're going to get the heavy duty adjustable regulator, the wiring harness with the instructions, the small parts package that you need, the field replacement module, and then one of the drivers, depending on which which one you order, either the ERCK FRM 071, ERCK FRM 081, or the ERCK FRM 091. If you don't know which one you need, I give us a call or email and ask. I'd be glad to help you out. What we do now is uh, first you have to determine which your make model vehicle you have. Does your do you have a Nip and Denso type unit or a Bosch type unit? Now it doesn't matter if it have a if it's an aftermarket unit. Originally it was a Nip and Denso type unit. Thank you. I'd like to talk about the best time to use these kits. Uh, these later kits with the modified driver, a lot of people use those when they put a late model alternator after let's say 2006 that requires a modified driver, let's say you're putting on an early type vehicle, that's a perfect instance. Another situation, if you find that you have your ECM is on back order, not available for, I talked to somebody recently that their ECM was ahead on a 11 month back order from where they're at. Also, uh, another person had a major problem with their electrical system. They went through like five ECMs and still hadn't found the problem. So they bought a kit to be able to temporarily put it on until they could find out what the problem is. There's all kinds of situations. If you have any trouble with it, putting the kit on, our kit comes with instructions plus free phone tech help. If you're, if you're a personal installer, do it yourself. We'll help you out. Or if you're a mechanic, you have a mechanic that's going to install it. We'll help them out as well. Just whatever one you need. If you don't know what you need, give us a call. Thank you.